Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Hello, my little friend. Just a quick reminder, if you want to be in the cat club, talk to your guardian or your parents and make sure that you go to the link down below to become a patron so that you get your first three exclusive Heidi Cherry and Vea stories on the 7th of this month. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Are you ready to let go of your long day and relax in your bed? Snuggle down into the covers and get all comfy. It was Simone's birthday. She was super excited. She was going to go to a rope course. Simone and her sister, Ashlyn, her mom and dad, and the dog, Lollipop, were all very, very excited. It was going to be a lot of fun. It was going to be even more fun because they'd invited Heidi, Cherry, and Vea. When they got to the rope course, Heidi, Cherry, and Vea were already there, all dressed up in the safety gear. Cherry said, Come on! Come on! We've been waiting ages! Don't you understand how excited I've been? I've been excited all week for this, and you guys, you're like four minutes late! I've been here so long, so long. I kept looking at me watch, looking away, looking at me watch, looking at car park, looking at me watch, looking away, taking a deep breath, trying to relax, trying to be more patient, taking breath after breath after breath, and it wasn't working. I just wanted you to come. Simone, it's been like so long since I've seen you. Happy birthday. Are you excited? Are you really excited? Because we're so excited, aren't we, cats? We're so excited. Oh, hi, Lollipop. Oh, 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 hi, Ashlyn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I just can't barely breathe. We're going to have so much fun. Heidi said hello to everyone, and so did Vea. Vea said that she was looking forward to the low down elements on the rope course. She wasn't really excited about going high up. Simone explained to her that when you go high up, you have to wear a bailey, and that keeps you safe. So you're like strapped onto another rope. So even if you fell off the rope or you let go of something by mistake, you won't fall very far, she said. Hmm, said Faya. All right then, well, uh, maybe, maybe I'll just watch for a little bit and then I'll see if I feel comfortable with it because mm, me likes you and everything. But if, if I don't feel comfortable, I don't put myself in situations where I don't feel comfortable. I don't agree with forcing myself to do something for somebody else's happiness. Even though I do like to make people happy, I don't like to make myself uncomfortable. Simone said that that was very good. And she agreed that putting yourself in uncomfortable situations just to make someone else happy is not a good idea. And that everyone there should only do the parts of the rope course that they felt comfortable with. Simone, on the other hand, was going to do all of it because she loved rope courses and she couldn't wait. And of course, Cherry was super excited to do all of it with her. I can't wait, said Cherry. I really, 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 really can't wait for the big ones. You look at them really, really tall ones. Well, we've been waiting, I've been looking at them all. There's so many like tall ones that go from pole to pole that you have to kind of like try and walk across like a, a rocky bridge. And, and oh gosh, and some of them you can swing on and some of them you look like you can even abseil on. And some of them, some of them, the low down ones, they look super fun because it looks like you have to crawl like a bear crawl underneath them or like kind of roll on your back or roll on your tummy. I just can't wait. It's it's gonna be like we're it's gonna be like we're in the navy or something and and like oh gosh like special forces maybe and we're doing like an obstacle course like they have to do an obstacle course i remember that Corey said that one time navy navy people like uh she knows lots of navy people and and they have to do really really scary things sometimes especially if you're gonna be a navy seal or something like that they have to do really scary things 
think I could do that, said Cherry. I think me and Simone and maybe, maybe Ashlyn, maybe Ashlyn's brave enough. She looks brave enough. Are you brave enough, Ashlyn? Ashlyn nodded. She was definitely brave enough. And then, and then, and then maybe your mum and dad, maybe they'll be brave enough. Are you guys brave enough? Mum and Dad both nodded and said yes, they were brave enough. Awesome, awesome. Right then, well, how about you, Ida? Are you brave enough? Are you brave enough to be like, you know, as if you're a Navy SEAL and you're going on like a special like rope course challenge and you and, and you might be and you might be like being chased by someone or something and you've got to survive. That would be awesome, wouldn't it? Well, I don't know about that actually. It might be a bit scary. How come I, I think, yeah, I think Simone will just forget about all of that and we'll just pretend that me and you are like superheroes and as we're doing the rope course, we can be like superheroes. We can be, we can be like the ones where you swing. We can be, pretend that we've got capes on and we're flying like superheroes through the sky. And who's your favourite superhero? Everyone looked at each other and had to think about it for a minute and they all compared different superhero characters for a while and then Cherry started all over again. All right, all right, yeah, very interesting. Well, yeah, not really because I I, I think I'm ready to do it. Let's just do it. Let's just go, Simone. Let's just go. Simone, Cherry, the dog, Lollipop, Simone's sister, Ashlyn, Mum, Dad, Heidi and Vea all went on to the rope course. They were all doing different things in different places, all having their own individual fun. They were having a lot of fun. There were screams, there was laughter. Everybody was enjoying themselves because everybody was doing the parts that they wanted to do. They weren't forcing themselves to do anything that would scare them too much or anything that they thought would be boring. Like Cherry thought some parts of it might be boring and she wasn't going to do the boring parts. She was only going to do the really, 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 really fun parts. They had a lot of fun at the road course. And then eventually it was time to go home. The cats went over to Simone and Ashlyn's house and hung out with them in Simone's bedroom with Lollipop, the pup. They decided to tell each other stories. If they were a superhero, they had to make up a story of what they would do. Would they save the world? Would they save the world from pollution? Would they save the world from crazy monsters? Would they save the world from a big black cloud? They all had different ideas. Simone was going to use all of her dolls. She was going to save the world with her dolls. She decided that she was going to make dolls, special dolls, and have her own company and What was superhero about it was that these dolls had magical powers and the magical powers that they had was every doll that went to a child had the magical power to be able to emotionally connect to that child and give them hugs and kisses and listen to them and love them whenever they needed it. Her superhero power was that She was going to put superhero magic into the dolls that she made in her factory and made sure every little boy or every little girl that needed a doll got a doll. If she needed to, she would fly all over the world because she could also fly and deliver her dolls. Cherry said that she would like to do that with her. Can you imagine? said Cherry. That would be so much fun. If we could just fly all over the world, Simone, if we could fly together, I would wear red, you could wear blue, well, you can wear whatever colour you want, and and we would fly and just drop dolls from the sky, these very special magical power superhero dolls that got made in your factory that would be delivered all over the, the world to every little boy and every little girl that needed a doll, a, do- a doll. Yeah, that would be awesome. It would be a really good idea. I don't know what, I don't know how I would beat that idea. What kind of superhero would I be? Uh, 
What would I be, Heidi? What would I be? Um, Heidi said, let me think. A talking superhero. You would go to anywhere that was really quiet in the world and talk a lot there. And then everyone there that wasn't used to people talking or cats talking would get so used to people talking and cats talking that it would no longer be a quiet part of the world. It would be a loud, fun part of the world because you had put your loud, talking, fun energy into that part of the world like a superhero. Cherry said, "Uh, Are you being funny about me talking too much? Heidi said, No, not at all. But she really was. Cherry said, Uh, well, in that case, I really like it. Yeah, I could do that because I like to talk. I like to talk so much. I like to listen to my own voice. I like to hear it go on and on and on and on and on and on and on. And I like to entertain. I like to talk and entertain people. Simone likes me talking a lot, don't you, Simone? Simone said, yeah. Ashlyn, you like me talking a lot, don't you? Ashlyn said, yeah. Lollipop, you like me talking a lot, don't you? Lollipop went, woof. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, everyone likes me to talk a lot. I bet even your mum and dad would like me to talk a lot. Do you think your mum and dad would like to come in and lay with us and I'll tell everyone a bedtime story? Do you think they'd like that? Simone said, um, no, I don't think so. Oh, said Cherry. They're lost. All right then. Well, all right, who's next? Cherry laid quiet for a change as she listened to everyone's superhero story and what they would be and how they would save the world. They were all getting very, very sleepy. Luckily, the cats were staying over so they could fall to sleep if they wanted to. They were all snuggled up together in Simone's room. She told everyone that this was the bestest, bestest birthday that she'd ever had. Aww, said Cherry. That's so nice. I know it's bestest because you've been with me, isn't it? I know, I know I have that effect on people. I know you love me. I love you too. I love you, Heidi. I love you, Vaya. Ashlyn, I love you too. And, and Lollipop, I love you too. I love everyone. It's been a lovely day, lovely birthday day. Couldn't have spent it better with better friends. It's been so nice and so much fun. I like rope courses. I think I might start being a professional rope courser because I think I'd be really good at it. Yeah, yeah. She closed her eyes and finally shut up. Finally, there was quiet. It's quiet enough for everyone to get very, very snuggly. And then, eventually, fall fast asleep. Happy birthday, Simone. The end.